Greetings, brothers and sisters. I hope you're having a great day. And let me start off by saying my uh, my apologies for you know not being very active here. I was going through a lot, uh, you know, lately. You know, a lot of things have been going on in my personal life. You know, usual depression, anxiety, and you know, grieving for a loved one that isn't here anymore. Unfortunately, it's a lot going through. But you know what? I keep on moving forward because, you know, that's what Jesus would have wanted. And so I kept going forward. <laughs> but yeah, I'm back now and I'm here for another video. This video will be an interesting one because this is the video that I, what I really wanted to make because I truly believe that there are many, many Christians that are not understanding what's going on in in this book. I mean, well, let's go for it now. So I apologize if I sound fuzzy or dry or anything. I mean, I just woke up and, you know, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> I mean, I did have a drink and something to eat before I began doing a video. But anyways, let's get right to it. So, The Wisdom of Solomon, aka The Book of Wisdom, is said to have written 50 years before the coming of Christ. Its author is unknown, but apparently it is said that the author is Jewish and have written the Book of Wisdom in Greek, which is really interesting, to be honest. Now, the Book of Wisdom is actually in the Bible. However, it's not found in the Christian Bible. And the reason why is because in ancient times, Christianity viewed the Book of Wisdom as not inspired by the Word of God and decided to leave it out you know, not, basically not make a canon at all. So, that's why. They've also took out the book of Enoch as well, which I believe they shouldn't have done that. So, um, I believe in my next video, I will be talking about the book of Enoch, hopefully. But... Right now, I want to let you all know that I believe the Book of Wisdom is biblical. I also believe the Book of Enoch is also biblical. But for, for in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Book of Wisdom and this mysterious entity that we're going to be talking about. And she is known as Sophia. Now, the reason for this video is because there is actually more than one Sophias in the Bible and out the Bible as well, which I'll be going over on later on. But for right now, we're going to be focusing on the real Sophia, the real one, the one that is from God Almighty. Let's get to it. Sophia is one of the most fascinating and the most interesting biblical entities in all of history. She is venerated as the wisdom of God, the goddess of wisdom. What's even more interesting about Sophia is that wisdom in Greek actually means Sophia. Now, Christianity isn't aware of Sophia's existence. In fact, most of them view Sophia as a demon or Lucifer. There is a few of them that do see Sophia as the Wisdom of God or Lady Wisdom, but she is a lot more than that. We're going to go through some of the verses in the Book of Wisdom, starting with Wisdom chapter 7 verse 14. For she is an infinite treasure to men, which they that use become the friends of God, being commended for the gifts of discipline. Wisdom chapter 7 verse 26 For she is the brightness of eternal light and the unspotted mirror of God's majesty and the image of his goodness. Wisdom chapter 7 verse 25 For she is a vapor of the power of God and a certain pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty God 
and therefore no defiled thing cometh into her. Wisdom chapter 7 verse 28 For God loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Personally, I find this verse quite interesting because it reminds me of Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 where it says, Yahweh fearing is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy Ones is understanding. So it seems we get a glimpse of how powerful and mighty Sophia is. You could pretty much say that she is the power of God as she can do all things. She is the wisdom of God after all. Now we are going to go through another verse and this verse is the most interesting verse of all because it speaks of another Sophia. Get ready. Well, that certainly was interesting. <laughs> you know, the Bible has a lot of hidden mysteries that haven't been revealed yet. And so far, we revealed who Sophia is and what's her purpose. We've also revealed her evil twin, another Sophia, in the Bible. Now, this shouldn't be surprising to anyone because literally almost everybody in the Bible has an evil twin. Like, for example, Jesus. There is actually another Jesus in the Bible. There's one in the book of Revelation, and then there's the Antichrist. There's also another Judas. Yes, there's an evil Judas, the evil Judas that betrayed Jesus. But there's also a good Judas in the Bible as well. There's also two Marys, and there's actually two Enochs. The evil Enoch is the one who is responsible for creating symbolic languages. It's crazy. <laughs> now in James chapter 15, it did spoke about wisdom from below being evil, cruel, demonic and such more. But if you scroll down to James chapter 3 verse 17, it says, but the wisdom from above is first that abides before pure, thereupon peaceable, exemplary, well compliant, swollen of mercy, and good fruits, unjudging, unhypocritical. I find this to be astonishing because it's basically speaking about wisdom from above being good fruit, unjudging, and exemplary, while the wisdom from below is soulish, demonic, and evil. This is absolutely astonishing because it's almost like an as above, so below thing. That is really interesting. <laughs> but I think it's time there's something that I might have to address now. Now, I really do think it's important to me to address this. Yes, I believe Sophia is the wisdom of God, the power of God. I don't, however, believe she's the Queen of Heaven or the Bride of Christ. I'm not into the Divine Feminine Movement. In fact, the Divine Feminine Movement is influenced by New Agers that believe Sophia is the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit is female. I find it to be blasphemous and unbiblical. I've seen a lot of New Age channel where they believe that Sophia is Gaia Queen of Heaven, Bride of Christ, and everything that they say out of their mouth is absolutely unbiblical. Now, I don't pay much attention to New Agers because obviously they serve unclean spirits. For me, I serve God only. I worship Him daily and I praise Him daily. Look, I'm not all-knowing and I don't know everything what's going on. 
However, I do know that there is a lot of mysteries surrounding in the Bible and it's our job to unlock those mysteries to find deeper and deeper into God's word. There is a lot of mysteries to unlock, to, un to reveal and I want to thank God Almighty for helping me. And if I be in error of anything, I just pray because I don't claim to know everything and I could be wrong about anything I said in this video, so don't take my word of it. Pray and ask God to help you to study, to unlock the mysteries in his written word. I remain loyal to the Bible and the Bible only. Yes, I believe Sophia is biblical. But I don't believe she's the Queen of Heaven or the Bride of Christ or the Mother of God. No, I don't believe any of that. I believe Sophia is the daughter of God. Just like Jesus, who is the Son of God. It only makes sense to me that way because the Heavenly Father is above everyone, has authority over everyone, including Jesus and including Sophia. All glory, all praises, all worship goes to Him. Amen.